Hello Cancer, this is your February monthly reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to do a Celtic cross here, guys. Laying the cards face down. I like it better that way. Um, I've tried it the other way. I think I like it better face down. Turning over one card at a time. Leaves an air of mystery. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate you so very much here. All right, guys. One more shuffle. Okay. Cancer. Energy that's around you. Okay. What's crossing you or challenging you this month? What the issue is. Oh, okay. I'm going to take that one. Recent or past events. The best outcome or what you would like to see happen here in this situation. What's coming in for my cancers here? How you see yourself or how you view this situation. Your outside influence. Your hopes. Your fears and the overall outcome for this month. All right, guys, so let's check it out. Let's see what's going on with Cancer this month. The energy that's around you is the Ace of Cups. You're just trying to keep it chill. I think you're trying to, like, not only are you loving yourself, but I think you're trying to be considerate of other people as well, trying to consider their feelings. Um, I think that. You guys are in a process of healing, um, just trying to get get to a point where you're just good within yourself without having anybody else around, um, that sort of thing, okay? Let's see what your challenge is here. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys are hiding something. Um, your challenge may be to come clean. Your challenge may be to um, reveal how you feel. Because I see here you're trying to focus on yourself and only you. Um, yeah, you're considerate of other people's feelings, but is there something that you're hiding? Is there something that you're keeping to yourself here? Okay. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Hmm. Either a stuck situation or you yourself, you know, you felt stuck. Like, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't um, make any headway as far as somebody or something was concerned here okay just kind of feeling like you know there's nothing you could do about it it is what it is that that kind of thing okay let's see how you see this situation um there there's something i feel that you're interested in i think there's something that you want to start you you're kind of leery about it but i think it's definitely um something that's weighing on you i think you're trying not to think about it though is what I'm what I'm getting here especially with the high priestess being there you feel it I think you feel it deep down inside that you want to that you want to initiate something that you want to start something but um, I think you're kind of holding yourself back from it maybe you're not thinking it's a good idea okay let's see what the issue is here hmm I think this is feeling confident that you can do it whatever this means for you okay whatever whatever it is that um, that you are kind of fighting with yourself over, um, whether it's, you know, offering to start over with someone or telling someone that you love them, even if it's a new, um, business venture that you are, you know, you, you feel really connected to is knowing that you can do it. Okay. Having the confidence that you can do this, you can achieve what it is that you want here. All right. So, the best possible outcome here is that you will stop worrying about this. You will let it go. Whatever whatever it is that's weighing heavily on your mind is letting it go. Letting your ego down and following your heart here. Your challenge here is to follow your heart. Whatever it is that, that is, is going on currently with you. Okay? And this month. Letting it go and following your heart. Because these are all thoughts here. Okay, and this is about using your heart, using your intuition to guide you. 
okay? Putting something to bed here that's not serving you with that Ten of Swords, all right? So what's coming in for you guys is a Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you will definitely, because the Queen of Pentacles is all about um, this supportive energy, okay? It's about taking care of the people that, that you love, that you care for, and being there for them. It's all about the confidence that you have within you. The Queen of Pentacles is good by herself, but she really is a committed queen. Um, her, her goal is not to be by herself. Okay, whereas Nine of Pentacles, you know, they're good by themselves for a while. But the Queen of Pentacles, you know, they're good by themselves, but their goal is to be with someone because that's what we're here for. We're not here to be by ourselves, really, honestly, okay? So this is what's coming in for you. And I feel like this is all about you, my Cancers, um, you know, evolving, doing what you feel in your heart is right and being there for the people that um, are important to you, okay? So your outside influence here is the Eight of Cups. This is walking away from things that um, do not serve you. Now, <clears throat> what I'm getting here is that either you or someone else, and I'm getting someone else, has walked away from this situation. Um, maybe a Pisces energy. And they felt like they felt like they weren't being fulfilled in this situation. So they chose to walk away. They chose to leave it behind. Um, but this is leaving something behind um, begrudgingly. Like you really don't want to leave, but you feel like there's really nothing else that you can get out of the situation. Okay. So I feel like maybe you guys are giving a little here in the near future to this situation. Um, maybe kind of meeting somebody halfway here. Okay. So what your hopes are, is to make a decision, to be sure about what it is that you want. You know, if it's somebody that you want, um, I think this is deciding that um, that you're going for it. Okay. Hang on one second, guys. Let me turn this down. Sorry. Um, deciding what you want and going for it. Um, you want to be sure that the, the choice that you make or the decision that you make is going to be one that is stable, one that is um, significant here. Because you really don't want to waste your time is what I'm getting here. Okay, You want, you want to have this pinnacle in hand like you do the other. Like, like you have everything else in your life is stable. It's here. It's not going anywhere. And, and that's what you're trying to decide. If this is a good decision for you that is going to be um, substantial and it's not going anywhere. It's not, you know, you're not going to change your mind or they're not going to change their mind even, okay? Your fear here is stepping out on faith. It's taking a chance on this. You really want to take a chance. Um, but I think, you know, the stability part, um, being reassured is what's important to you at this point. Okay. So let's see what the overall outcome is here for you guys. Becoming aware. I think you guys will be happy because I feel like, um, you're being challenged to follow your heart. And if your heart is leading you to meet someone halfway to kind of um, say, yeah, I am here for you. I will be here for you. Will you be here for me and you guys moving forward here? I think in February, for February, you're going to be happy here if you can meet your challenge and follow your heart here. Okay, you will be happy with the outcome. I want to see what this Eight of Cups is about here. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Cancer? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Eight of Cups. I don't think I'm going to get any other messages, guys. So somebody did walk away, whether you or someone else. Um, and... Um, you're being challenged to follow your heart. If your heart is with this person, if your heart is working it out, um, this is what it's telling you to do. 
okay? That's where your challenge is, to follow your heart, whatever that is, okay? Not, not using your ego to decide for you, okay? Dropping that. So we have Pisces here, we have um, Gemini, Virgo energy, um, we have Leo energy, Aries, Capricorn here, okay? So my Cancer friends, that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.